I mean, realistically, when you look at Braun, how many more years do you think he has? Realistically, it depends on how long he wants to play. Well, you could want to play, but at some point, you're just not at the level of being able to He's play. He's averaging 25 plus this year, right? That's what I'm saying. So right. obviously, so if he don't mind averaging 18, LeBron can play for another five years. Five years. Okay, well, let's take a look. How old is LeBron right now? 39. 39. So he could play to 45, 44. Damn, I got going to do my boy like that if he wants to. If he wants to, I think he can because the game slowed down to him. He can shoot the ball. If LeBron was a great free throw um, shooter, like, it would be over. He could play till he's 60. Right, because I heard he spends, what, $2 million a year on his on body? His body? Braun, Braun, Braun is the prototype what to do to be the best basketball player you can be. Right, because no one's ever really done that before. And, of course, he has the salary where $2 million a year ain't nothing. You know what I'm no. saying? Especially for your core business, like, that ain't shit. So, <laughs> but, but he really, I feel like, from what I understand, just nobody puts that much investment into their own body in the offseason as he does. I guess. Like he, he gets all the best doctors, all the best trainers, all the best nutritionists. Like, he literally lives and dies by this. I guess so. You know, because I, I remember I remember talking to Gilbert Arenas about this, and he was saying how when he first joined the NBA, he was just shocked that most players wouldn't come to practice early. Like, most players show up when they're supposed to show up, but, but you know, the Kobe types that are showing up two, three hours early, that's just a rarity. You yeah. almost never see it. I yeah. mean, is that true based on what you saw? Um, it's definitely no. Nah, you got you got a you got half the lead. That's like you got to call it faking it till you make it. Where it's like certain things. Either if you're not really doing much, you're gonna be out there taking shots two hours before practice and all that type of stuff. But the Kobe mentality, the um, you know who has that Westbrook. Mm, okay. So Westbrook, who I seen with that Westbrook is there every every day before everybody with them certain type of workouts that he's doing um with his skill work and stuff like that, but. The dudes that end up presidents of the operations and the GMs and all that, no, they not there three hours before. They they maybe there an hour before because they doing research at home about something. They got other things going on. Yeah. But you got the Kobe mentality where it's just like fully 100% basketball and their life allows that, then you very rare. Yeah, and from what I hear, like Kobe, the the dudes who he had beef with, like on his own team, like the Smush Parkers, and you know, I interviewed Smush actually after yeah. the interview. Yeah. Um, it's because he'll call these dudes like three in the morning and be like, hey, come meet me in the gym. And if they say, no, nah, I'm sleeping, I'll see you tomorrow, he'd be like, no, nah, fuck this dude. Yeah. He's not, you he's you, not see, on you see what Steph said about Kobe? What did he say? He said nobody liked Kobe. He said everyone acting like they liked Kobe, but none of them liked Kobe. And I didn't know that. But that was interesting. But Kobe is a certain, you know, he has a certain character. Kobe was built for this, man. You, and, and just in general with that basketball shit, and you have to have a certain amount of selfishness yeah. to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That everyone don't have, no matter how good of a player you are. Like, everyone is not cut from that Kobe. Like, Kobe wanted to let nothing distract him from what he was trying to do. Obviously, I know I'm seeing the story. I don't like the story with him and his parents. I don't like that story. But Kobe was that focused. You know, because cause Kobe came in the league, I'd heard that he went, Kobe went straight from high school to the league because he wanted to play against Jordan before he retired. Because he didn't want people to think, oh, you good, but you never played Jordan. So he wanted to like, I mean, even his number yeah. was a yeah. playoff Jordan's 23. Yep. Right? And he said that when he played Jordan this one time, after the game, Jordan, like, slapped him on the butt and said, yeah, you can wear my, my sneakers, but you can never fill them. He said after that, Kobe went into the zone. For two weeks, he didn't talk to anybody on his team. People thought there was something wrong. He literally yeah. wouldn't talk to anybody. Yeah. And he was just going to practice, just mad, mad. <laughs> and the next time he played Jordan, he gave him just he just went off. Yo. Just destroyed the team. I think he scored, like, like... 50 points, yeah, like yeah. it was just like a, an anger 
like no, like you not trying to kill Mike. You're trying to yeah, you just Mike. try to kill Mike. Yeah, that's that Kobe mentality. Yeah, but I I kind of laugh at that. To tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you told me the story last time about how uh, he was like, yeah, you you can't guard me because you came in a bus and yeah. I came in a helicopter. Yeah, Kobe, Kobe told me that story. He said guys can't. He's like. He, it's told you he's, a, he's in his head the whole time. He's a psychopath. He was like, man, you know how I know guys can't guard me? I was like, I'm like how? He like, when the ball hit my hand, he said, I know y'all got here on a bus. I got here on a <laughs> helicopter. I said, oh, he like, this dude Kobe is on one.